Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back, everyone. For most of today in Helena, it was mostly cloudy, hazy, and dry. But over the past hour or so, we have been seeing showers and thunderstorms, not just in Helena, but throughout much of Lewis and Clark County, as well as Jefferson County. And actually, there's a flash flood warning currently in effect for the Butte area. This remains in effect through 6.15 p.m. this evening. As flash flooding is possible due to excessive rainfall from thunderstorms, as some of those thunderstorms have been dumping up to an inch of precipitation an hour. And as we take a look at satellite, and radar it was mostly dry for a good chunk of today just a couple showers and isolated thunderstorms out there but then a cluster of showers and thunderstorms developed in Idaho this afternoon that has been working its way towards the north and northeast over the past several hours and we are seeing that precipitation in Lewis and Clark County and Jefferson County right now and with those thunderstorms we are seeing a lot of lightning brief heavy rainfall as well as small hail and the gusty winds so make sure you are indoors until these thunderstorms do pass by and this precipitation is all associated with a larger storm system that's currently located over the Pacific Northwest, and this will be working its way through Montana as we go through the next day and a half. For the rest of this evening and tonight, showers and thunderstorms are likely throughout all of central and eastern Montana, and some moderate to heavy rainfall is possible with those thunderstorms. In eastern Montana, a bit drier, but there will be a few showers and thunderstorms around as we go through tonight. And then for tomorrow, make sure you have that rain jacket and umbrella handy. Around Helena, rain is likely for basically the entire day, and that rain may be moderate to heavy at times times during the day tomorrow and throughout all of central and western Montana showers are likely throughout the day tomorrow and some thunderstorms are possible in locations east of I-15 within central Montana. In the eastern part of the state scattered showers and thunderstorms are likely tomorrow afternoon and evening and we could see some strong to severe thunderstorms later on tomorrow in the eastern part of the state as well. Showers and thunderstorms continue as we head into tomorrow night with the heaviest precipitation in locations east of I-15. Then Friday we are going to have lingering showers around during the morning especially in north central Montana. We'll start the day off with overcast skies, but the skies will clear out and we will see some sunshine as we head into Friday afternoon and evening. We are going to receive very beneficial precipitation from this storm system. Through Friday evening, a lot of locations in central and western Montana will receive between a half inch and an inch and a half of precipitation. We really need this precipitation, so it's fantastic news that we are receiving this moisture. Around Helena, a lot of locations will be on either side of an inch of precipitation by midday Friday. Lower rainfall amounts in eastern Montana, but this is where we could see some higher rainfall amounts associated with thunderstorms later on tomorrow. There will be some snow in the mountains, and there is a winter weather advisory in effect for a lot of the mountains in western Montana from sometime tomorrow through Friday morning. Three to ten inches of snow accumulation is expected above 6,500 feet. A couple severe thunderstorms are also possible as we go through this evening and tonight throughout much of Montana. Damaging winds will be the main hazard, but large hail is also possible. Then for tomorrow, the severe threat is going to be in eastern Montana with scattered severe thunderstorms expected tomorrow afternoon and evening. Damaging winds, large hail, as well as a tornado are possible with any severe thunderstorms that do develop later on tomorrow. Hazy skies will continue as we go through tonight, but that haze will then decrease from west to east as we go through tomorrow as that storm system does bring cleaner air into our area, which means good air quality for much Montana as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Not much wind tonight, but tomorrow it is going to be a bit breezy with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Then there will continue to be some wind around as we go through tomorrow night and into Friday with sustained wind speeds continuing to be between 10 and 20 miles per hour in a lot of locations. Tonight, low temperature is going to be in the mid to upper 40s and lower 50s, so it is going to be a cool night. Significantly cooler tomorrow than it has been with high temperatures only in the 50s for most of us. A little bit warmer as we head into Friday with high temperatures back in the 60s.